I'm gonna step through our current video creation workflow, including the free tools that we use to manage our video production process from idea to release. Now, honestly, I never used to be a process guy, but using this simple system has saved us a ton of time. So if you're wondering how to make YouTube videos faster and more effectively, then you don't wanna miss this one. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference and and all the links to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now to help us better track ideas, to plan our content calendar and manage YouTube videos throughout the entire production process, for a few years now we've used a simple process with free software that helps us track each project at every stage. Now over time we've iterated and we've scaled the same process, making it more efficient and scaling it up to work better with our remote team. So this process has saved not just a ton of time, but also our sanity. It's incredibly simple, it's free, and it works no matter if you're working by yourself or with an entire team. The process itself can actually be implemented in a lot of different software, depending on what it is you're already using. We like to use Trello. It's powerful, it's easy to use, and it's completely free. But if you've already got an existing system that you prefer, then just take the same process and apply it there. So I'm gonna jump across now and show you how to build out a process like ours quickly and easily. And then I'm gonna show you our exact Trello boards so you can see how we've evolved this and grown it to what we use now. Okay, so you wanna head over to trello.com and you wanna come up and create a free account. So you wanna to go to sign up, create your account, and then go ahead and log in. So when you log in, you'll be taken to your main dashboard area. Now obviously you've got a few other boards and things in here, but what you wanna do is come up the top here to create, to make a new one. I'm gonna create a new board. Now you wanna give the board a name. So let's go video production. We can pick a background or a color here. Blue's a primal video color, so we're gonna go with blue. And then we're gonna go down here to create board. Okay, so we've got our video production board created. And the first thing it's prompting us to do here is to enter a title for a list or to create a list. So the first list we're gonna create, let's just call this one topic pool and hit okay. Let's make another one called shortlist. So these are going to be the categories or the stages that our videos will go through in our entire production process. So they're gonna start off as just a random topic in the topic pool, we'll shortlist some, and then we'll move them on throughout the various steps right through to being released on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead now and build this out with the different stages of the production process. So we've got research, ready to shoot, preparing for edit, editing, preparing for release, ready to release and released. So now that we've got these columns or these lists created, we now can go ahead and start to add in these cards or our video topics. So to add a card, we just wanna come over here to add a card. For this one, let's just add it in the topic pool area. And let's just add in some random video topics that we might make. How to edit faster, color correction tutorial, how to grow on YouTube, how to use Trello. <laughs> okay, so you can see how fast and easy it is just to create video topics in here. But now this is where the power comes in, is that these now we can pick up and we can move along as they progress through our production process. So let's say that we're getting ready to shoot and we want to narrow down our massive list of topics that we've got. Just imagine there's a lot in there. Uh, let's say we wanna shortlist, say these three here out of all the ones in our list. We just need to pick them up and move them into the next column. And then we can easily see at a glance that these are our top topics from the bigger list. And this is where if you're working with teams and have extra people working with you, at a glance, anyone can come in here and see where every video is at without the need to waste other people's time or for things to get missed in this process. So the idea here is that you wanna shortlist your videos down and then when you're ready to go and take the next step, it is to move them into the next column where we can go and do some research on them. So your keyword or your topic research to make sure that people actually want the videos before you go ahead and create them. This is a huge step and a really important one if you're growing a YouTube channel. And I'll have some other resources and things to help you with that in the description of this video as well. So once you've gone through, you've done your keyword and your topic research, and you've planned out what you wanna say, whether it's a full script or whether it's just bullet points that you're gonna to speak to, you can then move them over into the next column, which is where you know that you've got everything ready to go for that video when it's in that column, that it's ready to shoot. Then once you've filmed that video, you move it into the next column, preparing for edit. So this could be where the actual content is shot, but you might need to go and get extra pieces of B-roll or create some graphics or animations and things. Any prep work that you need to do before your video is ready to edit. Then the next step here is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you're going to be editing your videos down. So you can quickly see again at a glance, which videos are you currently working on? Preparing for release is where you might be getting your thumbnail images sorted. You're getting the text for the description. 
anything else that you need to do to have this video ready to go out on YouTube. Then obviously once it is ready to go and to be scheduled up or however you like to release your videos, then it can go into the next column. And then once it's uploaded and live on your YouTube channel is when you can move it over to released. So you can see how simple, but also how powerful this can be in your video creation process. Now, one really powerful thing with this as well is that each one of these cards, we can actually open up and we can add extra information into them. So let's just pick on this one here, how to grow on YouTube. And you can see in here, we have the ability to add some text and some information around it. We can create checklists, we can add attachments to each card. And you can see here, you can link from an actual file to another Trello card or a Trello board, a Google Drive file or folder, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, or even just a generic link that you want associated with that card. So for us, what we do and what you'll see in just a second is that we have all the information for each video stored in the card so that each card is its own self-encompassed file really with everything that we need for that specific video. So I'm gonna now dive over to our live Trello board, what we're using for our production process. So you can see how we've evolved this and we've now got a few extra columns in here. So we've added one at the very start called the Icebox. Now these here are videos that we thought we might do at some point, but they're very unlikely that we will shoot these videos. So we've kind of moved them off to the side, almost like an archive. The next one here, YT Shorts, YouTube Shorts. These are really just a topic pool or ideas for really short content that we could use as YouTube Shorts. Then we have our regular topic pool, and that was exactly the same as I showed you. These are all the video ideas that we have that if anyone has a random idea on the team, we'll drop it in here in the topic pool, and then we'll move it into the next column, shortlist to discuss, once we think it's a topic that we're ready to at least explore a little bit further. Now, another really cool thing you can do in Trello here is you can actually assign different colors to the cards as well. So all the white ones are the ones that we're planning as regular YouTube videos. But since we started playing around with YouTube shorts as well, we've now started to tag those ones in orange so that they stand out as different pieces of content on here. So it's not too overwhelming. So you have the ability to come in here to this little edit button here and you can choose change cover. And under cover, we can choose a full screen color and we can pick whichever color we'd like for that specific card. So yeah, for right now, all of our shorts content, we're tagging in orange. Now, once we've gone through as a team and we've discussed some of these videos that are in this shortlist and we've agreed which ones we're going to action next or at least move on to the next column, they get moved into this selected JB to note key points. I'm JB. So my job when the video topics land in this column is to go through and note down any key points or any key information that I think we need to be covering off in that video. This isn't going ahead and writing a full script. We haven't confirmed that this is a topic we wanna commit to and actually make yet, but this is really the first stages of what do we think this video should include. So to give you an example of this, I'll open up this one here. This is one that I have added key points on. And you can see here how to make videos without being in it, X ways. Now it's X because we haven't locked down yet the core content, but I've got four things in here, four different ways that you could make videos without being in it. So it's not a full script at this point. It's just an idea of the things that we should include. Once those notes are added, I'm moving it into the next column, which is our research column. So this one we've named MB Initial Research and Script. So this is where Mike, my brother and business partner at Primal Video will go and do that initial topic or keyword research to make sure there's actually demand for the content before we create it, but also to look at the different keywords and phrases and things of how people might be searching or looking for that content again before we make it. And so in this process, then Mike's also building out a bit of a script or a structure for the video on how he sees it going down. Once Mike's done with that process, he'll move it into the next column for me to review. So the next one's called JB Review. And that's where I'm going to look at the keyword research that he's done, look at the script that he's pulled together, and really just sign off on the overall topic and say, yes, yeah, this is a video that we want to make. And again, if I open up one of these, you'll now see that Mike has gone through, he's put a structure around the content. And this one here is actually given a word for word script that we can use at the start of this, and also how he sees the video being played out all inside of each individual card. Once I've reviewed that and signed off on it, it'll go into the next column, which is detailed research and scripting. Now this is where I'll need to go and research the topic in detail. It could be in the case of a product review. What are all the specs? What's the pricing? What are the best alternatives? What are the biggest questions that people would have watching this video and how do we answer those making it a complete video? Once that step's done, we've got everything that we need to go and shoot the video. So the next column, ready to shoot, is where the 
they'll end up at that point, knowing that we have everything ready to go, whether it's a full script or just all the key information that we need to cover off in that video. Once the video is shot, it'll go into the next column preparing for editors, again, where I'm grabbing any extra B-roll or maybe the footage is uploading for our editors. It stays in preparing for editors until they have all the files. And that's when it goes into the next column, which is with editors. So we can see at a glance how many videos are with our editors. Once they've gone through and edited down the video, they'll move it into the next column, which again is a JB review. This is my first look at the finished video. If I've got any changes of the video at that point, I'll move it into the next column, which is back with editors. So they can then go and make those changes. They'll then move it into the next column that their edits are complete or the changes are complete. And that's my review number two. Now, if there was nothing wrong with that video at that point, it didn't need any changes, then we can skip these columns and we'll go straight to an MB review, mic to review. And that's really where he just does like a last minute check or last minute review to make sure that we haven't missed anything or there's nothing obvious that stands out to him at that point. From there, if he's got any notes, changes, feedback, or even if he's happy with the video, it comes into the next column here, final changes in progress. So this is where the video itself will be finalized. From there, the next step here is to upload the video and really get it ready to release. So we're scheduling it at this point, we're adding in any cards, we're adding in end screens, we're setting up the descriptions of the videos, all of that is done in this step here. And then once those are finalized, the final place here is ready to release. So these are the two videos that we currently have 100% ready to release on our channel. And then once a video is live on the channel, it's been released, it moves into the final column here, released, which is where we keep all the previous videos that we've done. So at any time, if we wanna remake a video, we wanna see what we said or find any of the documents or anything associated with that video, we've got a list of all of our videos here. Now, there's another really powerful feature here inside of Trello that we use throughout this process that you're seeing on screen now, so I better call it out, is these labels at the top here. You can assign these colors or full text labels here like we've got to each of your cards or videos here as well, giving you further information as to where the video is at. So if we come over here to this little edit button and we come over here to edit labels, then these are the sorts of things that you could create these for, like thumbnail in progress. So we know that it is off with the graphic designers getting the thumbnail image made, or that there's been an image that has been uploaded so the thumbnail can be created. So you're able to create and assign these labels to your individual videos or cards as well. And if they're taking up too much space on your screen, then you can click on the text and you can see a condensed version and just see which colors of those labels are applied at just a quick glance. So I strongly recommend going back to the first part of the video where I showed you how to build out your own Trello board. It doesn't need to be as complicated as ours. Start with something simple like this and then build it out as and when you need to. This alone is gonna streamline your entire process and save your sanity. So that's our exact process for managing our video ideas from early stage ideas through the production process and through to upload on YouTube. Having a process in place for things like this saves a ton of time and a huge amount of headaches. Now, if you're interested in checking out our recommended process for video editing as well, then we've put together a PDF guide, which is linked on screen now called the Primal Video Method. This runs through the ultimate video editing process to save time and eliminate rework. You can grab your free copy with the link on screen now and I'll see you in the next video.